being able to sketch bending moment diagram without any mathematical calculations just by inspection is a key skill that every structural or civil engineer should have after watching this video you will have all the skills to be able to plot deflected shape and bending moment diagrams this is part of my lecture series on i struct e structural behavior examination if you are taking that exam or if you simply want to understand structures this video is for you hey friends if you're new here i'm dr javed qureshi a senior lecturer at university of east london in this video series i will be talking about analysis of structures without using any complex mathematics just by inspection or just using intuitive understanding of structures let's dive straight into our today's lecture here i will be analyzing complex beams and how to plot their deflected shapes how to draw their bending moment diagram the learning outcomes of this lecture will be three one after watching this lecture you will be able to plot deflected shape secondly you will be able to know the direction of reactions without any calculations just by looking at the structure thirdly you will draw the bending moment diagram which is really important to see where forces are going in a structure so that you can provide reinforcement in reinforced concrete or you can provide appropriate material in steel structures or any other structures our first example is double overhanging beam with uniformly distributed load in the middle and a point load at the end looking at this structure i will expect some form of tension at the overhang portion and sagging over here between these supports let's see what options do we have there are four options to choose from option c is discarded and the reason is that there is no support over here so beyond the roller if i go back beyond roller you will not have any moment at all this is not possible as well option a because you can't have a moment where you are applying a point load there is no lever arm so moment is not going to be generated this leaves me with the two other option b and d option d is wrong as well because you can't have moment at the end the reason is that there is no lever arm moment is equal to force times distance here there is no distance when you don't have any distance this option is wrong so intuitively we will say option b is correct so let's see when i apply three steps to find out bending moment diagram then we will see that if it is right or wrong so these three steps are firstly we have to locate the points of certainty which means that points where deflected shape will pass and here deflected shape will pass through the points where loading is applied where we have supports second step is to draw deflected shape in direction of reactions so the deflected shape will pass through these points and in this way direction of reactions both reactions will be upwards here at the overhang portion because we don't have any other support restraining this beam this is the reason we will not have any moment developed over here at this point we have tension at bottom here we have tension at top which means that we will have a bending moment diagram like this tension at top and then we will have tension at bottom beyond the roller support we will not have any bending moment diagram so this is our final diagram and you saw that we chose this correctly as well initially option b is right let's go to another example in this example we have to identify bending moment diagram for the loading shown we have to ignore the self weight and moment is drawn as always on tension side in europe we draw moment on the tension side in north america uh, it is drawn on the compression side here when you're applying loading uh, tension will be at the bottom we will have uh, sagging and if i draw its deflected shape it will be 
do something like this. Let us assess the options. Option B is not possible because moment is continuing beyond a roller support. As we don't have any restraint at the end, that's the reason it will not continue and it is a roller. So roller will simply not let it move forward. So this option is not right. Option C is not right as well. And the reason is that when you see this kind of behavior where one side is in tension, one part of the beam is in tension and, and then the bottom part is in tension as well this indicates some kind of moment being applied here moment is not applied we have point load applied so we have discarded these two options it only leaves us with option d and c if i go back here looking at the diagram if i consider this support to be removed then you will see it is going up to bring it down we should have a downward reaction uh, that's the reason we should have some form of uh, sagging over here rather than bending moment diagram to be continued so the correct answer should be d let us see if we apply these three steps and find out the correct bending moment diagram here the first step is to locate points of certainty these are the points where deflected shape will pass uh, these points are where either load is applied or you have a support in second step we will draw the deflected shape and as you can see we have imagined this support to be removed imagine if it is not there the deflected shape will go up to bring it down we should have a downward force so that's the reason we will have a downward reaction at that point here you can see we have a downward reaction at fixed support and we have a clockwise moment which will cause it in sagging wherever we have downward reaction we will have a clockwise moment at left which causes the sagging upward reaction will always cause hogging hogging means tension top compression uh, bottom sagging means tension bottom compression top and horizontal reaction is not necessary over here we ignore the horizontal reaction let us plot the bending moment diagram in third step first we start with this point where it is sagging due to point load and then we draw another line because we will have hogging at the second roller support and thirdly we will have a sagging moment at fixed support because the reaction is pulling it down and then we rub off everything and we hatch this diagram to make it look beautiful and presentable. This is our correct answer, option D. So we were right initially in assessing that option D is the right option. In this question, we have to identify the correct bending moment diagram. We have to ignore the self-weight and bending moment diagram should be drawn on tension side. Here. A point moment is applied which remains uniform until the point load and tension is at the top and compression bottom remember clockwise moment when it is applied at the right side it will cause tension at top or hogging and the point load is applying the moment in the same direction clockwise and clockwise from right will indicate a hogging moment so that's the reason it will have some kind of hogging moment and diagram will essentially look like this let us assess the options option c is wrong because we don't have any sagging moment at this point if the moment applied would have been anti-clockwise then this could be the case but it's not the case here option d is wrong as well because here we have a linear pattern wherever we are applying moment especially if it is at the end it will cause the member to be in sagging or hogging but moment will remain uh, uniform option b is wrong as well because the direction of moment due to point moment and due to point load is same that is clockwise which means that the direction of bending moment diagram should be in the same direction that tension at top and tension at the top as well so option a is the right option 
let us see what happens when we apply the three steps. First, locate point of certainty, which means that locate the points where the deflected shape should pass. And these are two points where deflected shape should pass and it should pass over here as well. And then we have upward reaction and we have anti-clockwise moment. Reaction moment is anti-clockwise and deflected shape is like this. And this will cause the moment to go up because we have tension at top and compression at bottom. And it remains uniform until the point load is applied and point load is adding to this moment because the direction is same. And then we have a bending moment diagram like this. We rub off the deflected shape and then we hatch it to see if it is fine. So the correct answer is option A. Let me move to next question. In this question, we have to draw a correct bending moment diagram. Self weight is ignored and moment should be drawn on the tension side. Looking at this beam, you would say that we will have some form of sagging over here and sagging over here because we have load being applied. So let us assess the options. So we have two saggings. So this could be a possibility. We have two sagging moments over here but there is no hogging moment and there is no hogging moment over here which is unrealistic because you will have some uh, form of hogging moment at a continuous support and at fixed support and most of the time if reactions are upwards so b is wrong here in option c we have sagging moments in both spans but we don't have any hogging at the continuous support so this is wrong as well option d is wrong as well because we don't have any hogging moment which is wrong and the correct option is option a let us see if we get this option when we apply three steps first step is point of certainty these are the points where deflected shape should pass through and it passes through the points where we have load applied or where we have supports so this is the deflected shape reaction is upwards reaction moment is clockwise and we have horizontal load and upward reactions at other supports as well the third step is draw a bending moment diagram we start with the right side we have a hogging moment over here and then load causes sagging moment and at middle support we have hogging again and and then we have sagging so this is how we draw the bending moment diagram so the correct option is option a similarly in this example we have to draw the bending moment diagram self weight is ignored and the bending moment diagram should be drawn on the tension side here imagine that left fixed support is removed when you apply loading this will try to go up so deflected shape will go up to bring this down we should have a downward reaction which means that there should be some form of sagging moment sagging moment means that anti-clockwise moment at fixed support so this means that the bending moment diagram should essentially be like this but we will see when we apply three steps here option d is wrong because at fixed support we don't have any moment and option b is wrong as well because moment remains uniform which is not the case option a is wrong as well because the reaction is downwards so moment at fixed support should go downwards and correct option is option c but let us apply three steps to justify this option first point of certainty it means that points where deflected shape should pass through and these are the points where you have either a point load or load or you have a support deflected shape should pass through this this is how we draw deflected shape here we have tension at top and again here we have tension at top as well and this is bringing it down we have upward reaction at roller support and we have downward reaction at 
fixed support. Downward reaction means that it should cause sagging moment and reaction moment should be anti-clockwise at left. Anti-clockwise at left means it will cause sagging if you are at left side. And we have horizontal reaction as well, which is not necessary here. So let's draw the bending moment diagram. We have tension top starting from point load and then we have sagging over here at the end so this is our correct bending moment diagram and then we hatch this diagram to make it look really beautiful the correct option is option c the correct option is option c In this question, we have to identify bending moment diagram, self weight is ignored and moment should be drawn on the tension side. Load is applied only at right span. And additionally, here we have internal pin as well. Remember, there is no moment at internal pin. A pin can only transfer shear force. It cannot transfer moment. Let us assess the option. If I consider this left support removed, then uh, you will see that deflected shape will go like this and to bring this one down i should have a downward reaction over uh, here uh, let us see what options do we have so option d is not possible because bending moment is not uh, continuing it should continue because you should have some form of hogging moment at this point option a is not possible as well because the direction of bending is changing which is not right we have a point load applied uh, here and that should cause some form of sagging so sagging is missing so, so these two options are gone so we use process of elimination to reach to a correct solution and option c seems incorrect as well because we have sagging at this part there is no load applied here when there is no load it means that it should not come back down that leaves us with option b let us check when we apply three steps to see if this option is right or wrong first we establish points of certainty where the deflected shape should pass through and then we draw the deflected shape here both reactions at right side are upwards and reaction at left side is downward here we are imagining that the left support is removed to bring it down we should have a downward reaction that's why we have tension at top over here here we have tension at bottom and the bending moment diagram in third step should reflect this configuration horizontal reaction is there but it's not important so let's draw the sagging diagram first and then we will have hogging at middle support then it will come back down over here because the reaction is downwards let's rub off everything and draw the bending moment diagram so this is how we draw the bending moment diagram the correct option is option b let me move to the next question here we have to identify the bending moment diagram self weight is ignored and the bending moment should be on the tension side it is important to note over here that we have two different types of moments applied here udl is applying a clockwise moment the clockwise moment from right side should cause hogging and this point load is causing anti-clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment on right side should cause sagging now it will depend on how much load is being applied here so option b is incorrect because we have a linear pattern over here linear is not possible and direction of both moments is different and then we move to option d here option d is giving impression that we have udl applied at this position and we have another udl applied over here so the parabolic is related to udl but if you see at the question we don't have any udl applied so when you don't have any udl applied it means that b and d these both options are incorrect option c is incorrect as well because 
Now it will leave me with option C and A uh, and we will see how it, it goes when we apply three E steps. Here I'm not able to establish which option is correct one. A looks correct to me but we will see. So here are first points of certainty where the deflected curve should pass and this is how we draw the deflected shape. The reaction is downwards here and it looks to me here that the tension is at top. Here resisting moment is clockwise which means that it will generate some kind of downward force. So bending moment is drawn like this, essentially treat it like a cantilever. Because of this downward reaction, it is going down. Now it really depends that what type of moment these two forces are uh, causing. So this can be like this as well, or it can be a straight line if both forces are equal, or this can go up as well. So it will depend on the magnitude of the loading. but. Looking at these options, this option, option A seems to be correct. Let's go to next question. Here we have to identify the bending moment diagram. Self weight is ignored and bending is drawn on the tension side. A point moment is applied at the end. Let us assess the options. When we apply point moment at the end between the end and support, it should remain uniform and this will negate these two options b and d these two options are gone because this is remaining uniform so option a and c is possible but option a looks better to me we will see in three steps that which option is correct in my view option a looks correct so we apply these three steps first point of certainty where deflected shape should pass secondly we have to draw the deflected diagram and deflected diagram should look like this so here we have tension at top here we have tension at top here we have tension at bottom reaction is at top here and to bring it down the reaction should be downwards at this support and then at fixed support reaction should be upwards and bending moment diagram should follow this sequence the resisting moment is anti-clockwise moment and we have horizontal reaction as well so first we draw moment due to point moment it remains horizontal between end and the support and then due to downward reaction the moment should go down and again due to upward reaction here the moment should go up so this is how we draw the bending moment diagram. The correct option is option A.